it's low and today I want to show you on my HTC Zair HD the uh, Cutfire X with Android version 4.2 so before starting I just want to say to you that just two different things are not working this is the Bluetooth and the second one is the HW button backlight and must be uh, fixed soon so um, I want to thank Synergy and all the team which work on this amazing custom ROM because to get this Android version on HTC Zair HD without any ice cream sandwich official version is just amazing. So I have maybe you have maybe seen the Cherry Time uh, review with this uh, this Android version, and you have say I have said that uh, there is uh, there is some lag, some uh, excuse me some uh, glitches on the lock screen b with these two different uh, white bar but this is just because uh, there is different white jets available on this uh, on this uh, on this lock screen so you you can as you see add different panels with this button and select which one you want to add and just clicking on it you can just open it for example just click there and you go to message or not uh, maybe like that, yes, and you go there to the message with the lock screen. So let's go to start with Nova Launcher just once. Okay, so you can see uh, you can see that if you click there and then you unlock it, you go to the clock. So this is something new. Um, then you have also the official and native launcher there. Uh, this is the new launcher that you have seen. Then, I want to show you the camera. Excuse me, I am just uh, a little tired. So let's go to the camera and review it. You have the camera and you can use three different modes. The panorama mode, for example, is working. This is not maybe the most amazing, but it works and this is good to... Okay, too fast, but this is good to know that it works. For example, get fat and you get your pictures just here. Okay. Also, you get uh, some glitches, but there is uh, something working. You get also the uh, camera recorder and the uh, camera to take pictures. You can just press, but uh, press the screen to uh, to get focus, and you can have a long press just to go to settings. For example, contrast settings, over settings. Also, you get uh, the auto balance. Uh, adjust the white balance uh, with this button and you get also the flash settings you can go to the camera and switch with the front camera and others but there is no front camera on our HTC Zer HD then there is the messages and on messages we get the native keyboard this one you know and you can switch from native keyboard to others that you have selected on setup input methods on typing there is something new you, you have this way just to, to swipe as the swipe keyboard and you have gesture and with this gesture you get uh, the words and you get also pre uh, predictions to the next word hello everyone for example there I can just press space O then space R it detect automatically which word I could add there then you get with long press different uh, different characters and different smiles for example fair i space am space so space uh, happy to 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 what to show to show okay you um v this one first maybe why not uh, time I don't know and I am not kidding like that and let's go to use this keyboard also you get that to go to, go to different characters and with uh, this uh, this press button you get also the other input methods you can also with menu attach different files insert smiley or discord for example and go to settings you also get the notifications there you get something there for example this is google no cards just here you get google no cards 
I have switched on French just before and this is why uh, we get uh, the Celsius degrees but on settings you can go there and switch for Fahrenheit and now we got the Google cards with some Fahrenheit we can also use the search how are you today? okay so it detects uh, some words before but uh, it detects what I am saying so this is cool and you can just search um, who is the American president this is my favorite uh, this is my favorite uh, sentence because it's easier for me but you have seen maybe it does say anything because it's it working but it's working but not maybe as we are hoping for also we get the, the availability to delete the different notifications and with this button go to uh, our contact options just there you can also go to the brightness options just like that and switch up and switch the brightness go to settings Wi-Fi uh, um, excuse me the different uh, connections the battery percent airplane mode and Bluetooth then we have something just uh, now thanks to Pinwar on the generation mobile forum you can see this different touch and when you touch the screen it just come back you have seen that there is a timeout that we can maybe just switch also we get the Google Now, uh, you have seen that with these previous options there with different cards and the notifications and all what you want about what you do, what you do with your life moreover I want to show you something, this is the USB storage and the USB storage is working you have just to connect it like that and you get USB connected then you have to turn on USB storage, click OK and you get your storage on your uh, on your computer and you can just uh, use it as previously on different devices okay maybe I have to keep it there then uh, I want to show you the Nova Launcher because I need it on different settings for example if I go to Nova Launcher there and I go to settings so thanks to uh, Pinoir one more time we can go to display and switch for tablet mode but on settings we also get the interface and different buttons for example use volume wake to wake the phone on the lock screen when it's turned off also the status bar settings just to switch the battery style just let's go to the display and on display we can just force tablet user interface and panel view dual panel view you get something like that but to go something more we can use the tablet mode and let's go to fix there go to display and just go to uh, not the last one the first one the GPE and now the last one custom and use 120 and click on reboot now to, to reboot your phone so during this time you can maybe thanks me just uh, click thumbs up you can just say some words and subscribe my channel because for some different things coming soon so let's go to watch the mm. uh, just uh, boot animation of this custom run. And we are at 8.44 just now. So we get Android there and then the custom run just start. So you must choose to go to tablet mode between 120 and 140. This is just the way to get the tablet mode and you have to see that tablet mode is cool on tablet mode I have the advice just to show to say to you that you are using another launcher than the first one because this is uh, just most more adapted to that so let's go to click on just once and it start let's go to menu system settings and change the font uh, size so let's go to display and then on font size and change for huge, huge. and we get something uh, maybe more easier to, to watch okay so we get the, the notification status bar and the menu excuse me the menu just there we can just uh, use that as previously uh, maybe I forget to speak about something I don't know why so sorry if I forgot something uh, you get also the phone the uh, Apollo Apollo application just there and the 
Google Play Music so you can just use it and it's working and the volume is is a uh, use useful you can also use the theme shooter if you don't know it and install different theme I think I have said a lot of things about that also everything is working and we get also the browser just there with different your different tabs and you can add favorites use the search and sign in and got the bookmarks for example so there is also the file manager thanks to have seen this video that was flow don't forget to subscribe thanks me and continue to share my work thanks again that was flow